A coronial inquest has been told Families SA changed a care plan to let Chloe Valentine's mother use drugs, provided a sober adult cared for the baby girl. The shocking revelation as the agency's principal social worker maintains the evidence of Chloe's neglect wasn't enough to remove her. The inquest into Chloe Valentine's death had already heard claims by her mother, Ashley Polkinghorne, she was a better mum when on drugs. But today, her family's SA social worker admitted he allowed drug use as long as Chloe was being cared for by someone sober when it happened. Many parents use drugs. It's difficult for us to enforce a zero-tolerance policy. The coroner became frustrated with Mr Ratch, but we're talking about a teenager here. This amounts to effectively condoning her behaviour, does it not? Not, to which he responded, I don't see that as the case. The four-year-old died after her mother and then partner Benjamin McPartland forced her to repeatedly ride and crash a motorbike in January 2012. They're both behind bars over the death. Now the state coroner is investigating the 21 reports to Families SA expressing concern about her care. The court heard Polkinghorne was evicted over the squalid conditions of her rental property and drug use, but Mr Ratch didn't consider an offer from the child's grandmother to care for her because he was concerned about Chloe being separated from her neglectful mother. The court heard that police had reported to Mr Ratch that Chloe had been left unsupervised in a pram while her parents joined a public brawl. Mr Ratch didn't see Chloe until a week later, explaining it was the parents' job to ensure safety, only his to track it. Mr Ratch said the threshold required to remove the child wasn't met while he was responsible for the case. Kim Robertson, Nine News.